Hello everyone and welcome to Ukulele Underground Songs Made Easy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Come Together by The Beatles. So this is one of my favorite tunes and one of my favorite uh, Ukulele Underground videos that we've done so far. Um, Beatles are one of my favorite uh, ukulele, you know, ukulele groups to play from. I know they didn't really play ukulele, or at least not in their albums and stuff, but I like to uh, play a lot of Beatles songs on my ukulele and Come Together is one of those classic tunes that um, that I like to play on my uke. We like to play this song during Fridays on a Lower Friday Live Jam and I'd like to teach it to you folks right now. Okay, so the original key for this song that we taught it at was C minor. So today we're going to be transposing it to D minor and um, we're gonna be playing it in that key. So first off, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like, and then uh, and then I'll go on with uh, with teaching this tune. Okay, so that you guys can have an idea of uh, of what this tune sounds like. It's in D minor. Um, Aaron, uh, Aaron and Kahai are are here with me right now too. So they're going to be helping me out with this tune. Uh, Aaron, can you pass me that paper right there on my desk? So yeah. Um, if you guys are wondering what paper is he like passing over to Aldrin, it is uh, it is the handout for today's lesson. Now, if you guys want to see the handout, sign up for the newsletter, um, and we you know we send out the handouts beforehand so you guys can follow along uh, with the Ukulele on the Ground songs made easy. And if you're a, uh, a member of Ukulele on the Ground Plus, we do have uh, we do have the printouts over on Ukulele on the Ground Plus, and uh, we have the whole archive there as well. Okay. So here we go. Uh, this is Come Together by the Beatles in the key of D minor for Songs Made Easy. Here come old flat top, he come grooving up slowly. He got juju eyeballs, he won holy roller. He got hair down to his knees. Got to be a joker, he just do what he please. He wear no shoe shine, he's got toe jam football, he got monkey finger, he shoot coca-cola he say i know you when you know me one thing i can tell you is you got to be free come together right now over me all right so wait we are going to be using four chords for this today and here are the chords that we're going to be using. Um, I'm going to show you the chords and how to play them and also we're going to be checking to see you know if uh, if we're playing them correctly. I'll give you some advice on how to hold these chords and how to switch from one chord to the other. Uh, the main chord that we're playing here is a D minor. You're going to take your middle finger, you're going to play it on the G string second fret. Your ring finger goes right underneath that on the C string second fret, corner finger on the E string first fret for your D minor chord. Now what I like to do is I like to do the string check just to make sure I'm playing this chord correctly. What that is, is I'm gonna play each string to make sure I hear all four notes in that chord nice and clean and it's not sounding like. So that means if there's something wrong with the chords, we're going to go fix it. Um, uh, some advice that I'd like to give on this chord is to make sure you got that rainbow thing going on or that arch that we, you know, that we like to refer to in the show. So if you're looking at this angle, if you see that my, uh, my corner finger is nice and arch, my middle finger is nice and arch, my ring finger is nice and arch. So what I'm also doing is, uh, I'm making sure that they're kind of on the side like this. So it's at, it's at an angle. I'm not hitting these notes straightforward like this because what that does is this middle finger and this ring finger will bunch up on the G and C strings making it a little bit harder to play this D minor chord but if you just swing this wrist around towards the uh, your tuning keys here that makes 
these fingers kind of uh, go that, you know, go on a diagonal instead of it going straight down on your ukulele. Because it's going at, a, you know, at an angle, it helps kind of clear up space. Because uh, this middle finger will be hitting that G string second fret at an angle, therefore causing this C string to be uh, easier to get to with your ring finger. Because if it's down here, then that means you gotta, you know, clear the, uh, the little bridge there that we, you know, that we made the little uh, arch. Okay, so that's a good little advice for you folks playing D minor for the first time. Now we're gonna play our A chord. And what we're gonna do is, um, I wanna, you know, I wanna reintroduce you guys to what I like to call as um, anchors. So what an anchor is, you know, you're making sure you drop the anchor, and my anchor here is my middle finger. What that means is I'm gonna keep that middle finger there while I change my chord. So I'm gonna lift up on my middle, and oh, sorry, my ring finger and my pointer finger, keeping my middle finger there because it's anchored down. Okay, so I'm gonna use that to kind of pivot to the next chord, which is my A chord. Pointer finger, C string, first fret. So it's just gonna go, my pointer finger is gonna go from E string, first fret, and it's gonna go up one string to the C string, first fret. My ring finger gets let go here to the A chord. Okay, once again, D minor to the A. I'm just keeping my middle finger there. Pointer finger moves up one string to the C string, first fret for my A chord. Okay, so the next chord we're gonna play is a G7 chord, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this whole chord here, this whole A chord that we have, and we're gonna move it down one string. So instead of G and uh, G string second fret and C string uh, first fret, it's gonna be C string second fret with the middle finger and E string first fret with the pointer finger. Now my ring finger is gonna rejoin them on the A string second fret like so. Notice it's still at an angle because I wanna get uh, I wanna get to underneath some of those notes that uh, that I've showed you. Okay, once again, I'm not doing it like this where it's kind of straight. See, my, uh, my wrist is kind of straight here, but let's look how it bunches up. If I move my wrist and tilt it that way, see how it eases up on all that bunching on that chord. Okay, so you have that G7. So nice little transitions from D minor. Using that anchor, go to the A. And then using that shape of your fingers, see I went from the A to the G7. Notice how I didn't really move too much. My ring finger is gonna join them in A string second fret. So the G7 chord, C string second fret, E string first fret, ring finger on the A string second fret. That's your G7 chord. And there's a, uh, there's a part where we go backwards from the G7 to the A, all you have to do is release the ring finger and then move up one string with the other two and then you're on A, okay? We have one last chord to show you folks, it's a B minor seven, and that is just pointer finger is going to be barring the second fret. Now I know a lot of you folks are intimidated by bar chords, but all it is really is taking your pointer finger, making sure that all those strings are covered on the second fret, and um, your ukulele has a natural tendency to move forward. Why? Because we hold it with our forearm here on the bottom side of our ukulele, and that causes it to move forward. If, uh, if you can remember how this feels, you're going to be better at doing uh, bar chords in the ukulele. So you just take your pointer finger, you're going to take that, and I'm not even supporting it for, with my thumb. Now I'm just pushing it back so that it goes, so I'm not like pushing it so much that like it goes back here. I'm just pushing it enough or giving enough pressure on it so that it holds it back. See my thumb is, you know, is, um, is down here, it's not being supported by, you know, um, by by anything in the back. It's enough pressure to have that chord kind of ring out. All I'm doing is stabilizing it with my thumb. I'm not pinching with my thumb at all. Here it is from the back. Oh, yep, there it is. So I'm gonna move our camera a little bit to kind of show you. There it is. So my thumb is either back here or anywhere that it's kind of comfortable. Really, all my thumb is doing is stabilizing the ukulele so that it doesn't move anywhere. Um, you know, so that's gonna help you with your bar chords. If you still need a little bit more, your middle finger can go on top of it to make sure that enough pressure is on there. You're not like fully pinching your ukulele to get that chord out. It just needs enough pressure to be held down and for it to ring out, okay? So middle finger if you need it, a little bit more support, or you just do pointer finger like this. 
okay? And don't worry about it, we're really only using the B minor 7 during the uh, during the course of the come together, and it's it, it only happens that once or twice in you know in this song. So but if you can get that down, all the other songs that we'll have uh, bar chords in will get a lot easier. All right, so let's review. We have D minor. Then to the A, we used our uh, anchor there. And to the G7. And then B minor 7. Okay, so from B minor 7, in order for me to get to my A chord, which is the next chord in, uh, or sorry, G7 chord, which is uh, the next chord in, uh, in the chorus, I'm just gonna release this, middle finger goes down, see how I'm gonna get my wrist and I'm gonna swing it around again. When I swing my wrist around, my middle finger is in perfect position. Pointer finger goes in the E string first fret, ring finger goes in the A string second fret. So it's kind of like if you get your pointer finger ready to go from that B minor seven position to the E string first fret position with the G seven chord, your fingers will naturally just kind of, you know, get ready for that G seven. Okay, um, I know some of you folks see my thumb up here uh, when I'm playing my D minor, A, and G7 chords. That's just to make sure I have a good grip on my ukulele. So I'll show you folks from the back what it looks like, um, you know, how I'm holding it when I play my D minor chord. So I'm using this like kind of fluffy pillow part of my, uh, part of my fingers. I'm just placing that in the back there, playing the D minor chord. Here it is from the back. So I have a good grip on it, G7, A. It doesn't really change all too much except for the B minor chord, which my thumb goes in the back like this. All right. Okay, so let's, uh, let's look at the strumming pattern. Strumming pattern is a nice quarter note strum. What that means is we're doing down strums. If we count one, two, three, four, we're doing down strums in all those numbers. So one, two, three, four. It's one of those tunes that I like. Um, I also like to give a nice warm tone to, you know? Um, there's not a lot happening in this. There are some drums and bass and stuff, but for the most part, it's not over the top. So I like to keep it nice and simple. So the flesh part of my thumb, um, just grazing the strings like this will do just fine. Okay. For those of you, you guys want to use your pointer finger, you can. I like to just kind of stick with my thumb, keeping it easy. Keeping songs, making them easy. Songs made easy. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now that we got our strum down, let's, uh, let me kind of go over this, uh, you know, the chord progression uh, with you folks. Okay, now D minor, you're going to strum that for four bars. What that means is uh, you're going to get four times of one, two, three, four, and then goes. So here's the count. This is what I like to do when I was in band, uh, if I'm counting bars. It goes one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three. Notice what I did there. The first, uh, the first number is uh, the number of uh, of bars that I'm doing, or what bar I'm at currently, to kind of give myself you know, an idea of where I am in the song. And then we're gonna switch to A, and we're gonna play that for two bars. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and two bars of G7. One, two, three, four, two, two, three. And then we're gonna stick around on the uh, back to D minor for a little bit. And you can play that four times just as a little interlude. We like to call this in Hawaii as the vamp. So the vamp is just a simple D minor, four times. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three. And you go to the second verse. He wear no shoe shine, he got. All right. And when it gets to the chorus, we have one bar of B minor seven, so come together, two, three, four. And then it goes to G7 for half a bar, which means two beats. One, two, and then it goes to A. Over me. So just one time in A. So it goes like this. Come together right now. Over me. See that one, two, then A. 
So let us try and play this song together. So if you have the um, if you have the downloaded PDF, you can uh, follow along with us. And uh, if not, just uh, take a look at what my fingers are doing. And uh, I ask what you're doing, sign up for the newsletter. So what are you doing? Sign up for the newsletter and get these handouts and make playing uh, a lot easier, playing along with me a lot easier, okay? So a newsletter, if um, the link is on the bottom, right? You, yep. you can check it out over there in the description of this video. Uh, or if you sign up for UU Plus to take your ukulele playing to the next level, you also get those in a nice convenient spots on the internet. Yeah. Okay. And if you sign up for the newsletter, you'll get all the past song sheets. Yeah. And then all the feature song sheets that we're going to do. Right on, right on. So um let's uh, let's let's go. Let's play it together. Ready? Come together and play together. One, two, ready. D minor do four bars. One, two. Here's our vamp. Two, two, three. We go shoot. Just like the Beatles. One more time. Shoot. Verse, four bars. Here come old flat top, he come grooving up slowly. He got juju apples, he want an only roller egg. Hair down to his knees, G7. Got to be a joker, he just do what he please. Bow, shoot, do 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 do. Shoe shine, he's got toe jam football, he got monkey finger, he shoot Coca Cola, he say, I know you and you know me. One thing I can tell you is you got to be free, come together right now. song for you folks four chords that's all it really takes um you know it's got some good transitions from chord to chord now i chose this song because i wanted you guys to kind of get used to transitions like that okay um in the verse it goes from d minor 
to A and then to G7. It changes up a little bit on the chorus where it goes B minor, it goes to G7 first and then it goes to the A. And also I wanted you guys to kind of see different patterns on your fingers like, and you can keep those same patterns to, uh, to make good transitions from one chord to another. Notice how we did that D minor to the A, we used our middle finger to kind of just stay there on the G string, second fret, to make sure we get a nice, good transition over to the next chord, all right? Same thing with the A to the G7. So we just took that whole thing, we moved it down, we added our ring finger, all good. And uh, we can go from the B minor seven and then swing our wrist around for the G7 chord. Then of course, just lift up our, you know, our fingers one string up to the A for our chorus. It's got some, you know, it's got some nice changes in there. If you guys have any questions, we are live when we film this. Let me know what your questions are. Um, and for now, let's, uh, let's jam this song one more time, okay? So I'm jamming the song one more time. Uh, we'll answer your questions right after before we go out, okay? Here we go. So put your questions on as we as we play this. So that, cause that's, it is live, you know, we're, it's gonna take a little bit for us to catch up. Here we go, ready. Two, ready, vam. Shoot. 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 Here we go. Here come old flat top, he come grooving up slowly. He got juju eyeballs, he's one holy roller. He got hair down to his knees. He got for B1 Joker, he just do what he please. That's how they would sing it if he was local. You're in Hawaii. Giving that nice pigeon accent there. One more time. He no wear no shoe shine, he got toe jam football, he get monkey finger, he shoot. Coca-Cola, he say, bro, I know you, <laughs> you know me. G7, one thing I can tell you is you got for B free. B minor, come together right now over me. So I got I distracted myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how would I say that? <laughs> Verse 3. He back production, he got walrus gumboot, he's got on the sideboard, he won spinal cracker, he got feet down below his knee. And hold you in his armchair, you can feel his disease come together right now over me shoo. skip that shoo. the big solo shoo. verse 4 he roller coaster he get early warning he get muddy water he won mojo filter he say one on one and on one is tree and got to be good looking cause he's so hard for see come together right now over me and let's end it on D minor <laughs> it's my unique version of uh, of Come Together with a little bit of uh, pigeon accent for all of you folks. We have to have fun here in Ukulele Underground. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, do we have any questions over from the audience? Mm, oh. Skip said, nice job, great sound effects. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind the small little mistake there. But yes, if you guys are interested in uh, in um, getting these printouts, sign up for the newsletter and the link is below. Um, I, you know, why I like saying that a lot is because I want you guys to uh, have these printouts 
um, you know, print them out and um, and make a folder because what we're gonna do next week is we're going to be playing the songs that we played this month, and also we'll be uh, we'll be adding some of the songs that we played last month as well. So you know, you guys like. Um, Waiting, was in waiting in vain and stand by me we're gonna add that so next week we're gonna have a jam session we have five songs now that's under our belt for songs made easy next week thursday we're gonna be jamming these songs uh so it it helps a lot if you guys you know print these out so when i say hey let's play come together you know just flip over to the come together page you guys are all good you guys know how to play it you guys know how to jam these tunes say uh let's play a love song by the cure bam Flip over to love song and we got it down so that's kind of how i envision um this going to be so we are creating basically another ukulele club so if all friday live jam is a, you know is an ukulele club experience it's going to be the same thing so we uh this is more like an ukulele club actually because we go and you know we take some time to learn these songs you know we practice them together and then we play them you know on on the thursday jams right so next week is going to be a jam for uh, for all five songs that we've learned so far and it's going to be kind of like that and um you know we'll do the songs that we did that month and then we'll do some callbacks to the other months that we've done okay so are you guys with me um i've enjoyed my time with you folks have a great one uh stay tuned if you guys are part of ukulele on the ground plus stay tuned for one-on-one -on -one coaching which happens at 3 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. This is Aldrin Guerrero for Ukula on the Ground. Songs made easy. I'll see you next time. Keep jamming. Aloha.